Hello everybody, so today I will talk about calculus. Here is about the question. The graph of the function f which is continuous and twice differentiable on the interval from minus 6 to 10 based on the following information. We have first the derivative is positive on the intervals from minus 6 to minus 1.5 and 3.5 to 10 only and here is about the the variation table I just draw in here if you can see that first the derivative is positive from two interval in here so this is about from minus 6 to minus 1 minus 1.5 and 3.5 to 10 so we have the positive side in here second derivative is negative on the interval minus 6 to 1 so from minus 6 to 1 they are in the negative in here and so that's why from 1 to 10 they should be positive similar this one because we know two interval they are positive so between from minus 1.5 to 3.5 there should be negative side first the derivative at 1 at minus 1 over 6 is about 0 you can see that this is about the critical point so this means that at 3.5 of first derivative there should be about 0 too so in here we have two critical points and one inflection point in here. The next one is about the function f at 5.75. In this one, the value is about 0. At 3.5, the value is about minus 8.3. Here is about 3.5. And the 3.5 in here is about the vertical point and we can draw the graph of the function f in here like this we know that based on the first derivative we can find the reason on the on the interval and the reason of the interval based on the first derivative we know minus a Boy 3 is about local mean because we have the negative then the change to the positive so this one the, should be about the local minimum and this one should be about local maximum as you can see that when uh, we use about two number together this is about minus 1.5 plus 3.5 divided by 2 you got about 1 so in this situation 2 low 2 local mean and local mass they are in the symmetric of the number 1 so it means that we can find the value at this one it should be 0 just like this I will show the formula S plus 5.75 divided by 2 equal to 1 because 2 number is symmetric you can find the S in here and the S it should be about minus 3.75 so this means that at S equal to minus 3.75 the value of the function Fs will be 0 I just draw in here and now we have the full table of the variation table after we go about the function fs like this we can draw the graph just like this we have the local mass in this board is about 8.3 and the local mean is about minus 8.3 
and the inflection ball is number one and this is about zero because they are symmetric in uh, the curve that's why inflection ball should be zero at s equal to number one and here is about the rest that's it, the end thank you for watching